want to be like, you know, and when you want to take off your makeup, you want to, you know, and you know what I'm saying. I'm weird, right? Yeah, fine. Hi, let's do an empty. But I might look beat up today and that's because I am. The weather in Kuwait is unbelievable. It's hot and it's humid. And if it's not humid, it's just burning hot. So yeah, that's why. That Anyways, I have a humongous ginormous bag full of... Let's just get into it. Starting from the top, from a big bag full of junk, I have the Seven Seas One A Day Pure Cod Liver Oil. You're supposed to take one a day. I'm not really very really consistent with it, but I've noticed that when I am, I really see the difference in my skin and my hair and my nails. They are all just like more shiny and healthy. There's a blob remaining in this, but I'm not gonna be touching it because this is like two years old. Trust me, 24 hour body volume conditioner. It lasted me for a lifetime and it just wouldn't finish, okay? It just wouldn't finish and finally I got through this entire big tub. This was good while it lasted. Then I have my clean and clear blackhead removing cleanser the confusing bit about this thing is that it says it's a cleanser but it's so liquidy that um, you tend to use it as a toner so I'm you know worried if it is bad to leave it on your face so I'm really confused about the usage of this but this is my second bottle because this when I use it I do feel that my skin is really clear through a lot of trial and error how I ended up using it is actually as my makeup remover and it removes everything I even use it around my eyes but I don't think that's really good so I wouldn't recommend it but it just removed everything it kind of even stung <laughs> but don't do it I was just trying to you know, use it some way it has no directions on the bottle Aman time control face foaming wash or cleanser or something gentle foaming cleanser this thing is amazing the thing about foaming stuff you know hand washes or face wash whatever it is is that it really finishes fast if you've noticed but this is amazing in getting rid of the makeup and it was definitely gentle dove damage therapy anti-dandruff shampoo a clean no mess no fuss anti-dandruff shampoo i liked it i like the way it made my hair feel after i you know took a shower like all soft and stuff so yeah i have a l'oreal true match foundation and my color is w7 i cheated because i don't i'm not a regular foundation wear. i mix my foundation a little bit with my you know moisturizer and i use it here and there once in a while so i really cannot get through a whole bottle and I've been having these guys for so long and you know I like to finish stuff and just get done with it so I gave it to my mom and she finished it for me but this is one of the best drugstore foundations I have ever tried it's got good coverage and it's, it's thick though you know if you like light feeling foundations you wouldn't like it because it's kind of thick but it has no shimmer like some of those annoying foundations have you don't want to look like a shimmer ball so no shimmer matte finish it stays on your face it's got good lasting power and good color selections and all of that so i really love this stuff night cream from the body shop this one is like their um, organic line or something like that it's a smoothing night cream but i didn't really like it first of all i didn't like the smell it just smelled too organic secondly i felt like it kind of broke me out so it was just like a mm, whatever kind of a night cream but I did finish it. it it stopped breaking me out my skin understood that I'm just not gonna listen to it being fussy but I was not too fond of it <laughs> number seven whitening hydrating mask I got it two and a half years ago before my marriage because I got it free with something else sheet masks okay they are actually really good but I hate sheet masks because they never fit my face so I just never used it and just sat over there and I'm like oh just get done with it so I just finished it and the last one let me tell you it really stung my skin and <laughs> broke me out clearly I guess it was expired I shouldn't have used it but I used it up. clean and clear morning energy what is this daily facial scrub cleanser I love the smell of these guys they're just so like freshening and pick me up but I didn't like the idea of like putting scrub on your face like every day and the scrub in this was like really gritty you know I was just like hmm I don't feel good about it especially around your eye area you don't want to be like you know and when you want to take off your makeup you wanna you know and you know what I'm saying Biore deep pore cleansing strip the first time I tried this in my life was just three months ago and I'm hooked to this this guy's so amazing you put it on your nose and you take it off and all of those things that come out of your nose I mean oh my god okay Biore is a really good brand I had tried Nivea and I didn't like it exhilarating body wash from Victor Victoria's Secret it was good it smelled really nice and this is another thing that I had for a long long time and I just wanted to finish it and yay uh, this is like the weirdest thing in my empties 
video because it's a phone case. You can't really empty a phone case. But a very good lesson that I learned from phone cases, which I would like to impart to you, is don't buy one of these cheap acrylic kind of phone cases because they're just gonna chip on you they're gonna break and that money you spend on a cute little design is just gone down the drain because it's not gonna last you very many months it's not really gonna protect your phone either because as you can see it's all like broken and I mean I mean you can see right I don't know can you see it was just a waste of money I have one of my oldest I think this is the oldest eyeshadow palette I've ever owned it's one of the cream eyeshadows from Revlon I can still use it but I'm just like why am I doing this to myself just get rid of it because it's really really old you know what I mean only thing that I've really touched pan on is this dark color because these guys are just too light and too frosty for me I told you this is my first eyeshadow palette I didn't know much about makeup I don't even really like it because it creases it makes you feel so oily and dirty and all that stuff I have a dead all hand wash because if you've watched my empties video you know that we go through hand washes and face face washes like nobody's business so dead all I mean nothing to talk about it it's amazing Iman Time Control Face Moisturizer. The good thing about this is that it's got SPF 15. The bad thing about it is heavily fragranced. So I didn't feel good about putting this on my face at all. So I actually put it on my body instead, just finished it off. Mascara from number seven. It's the extravagant volume. I actually liked it. I would give it like a six, seven on, no, six on 10. But it didn't give me like, it was okay. And it was kind of crispy. I don't like crispy lashes. For bottle? Tin glass jar jar of candle sparkling mojito from Slatkin and Co from Bath and Body Works. I don't really burn a lot of candles like other beauty gurus might. It's just like a YouTube thing, I guess. Because I live in an apartment and we have our windows closed all the time, so I feel like burning a lot of candle is increasing the carbon dioxide in your apartment which is not really healthy of course the AC is on but AC is always just recycling the air so this is another thing that just sits on my counter forever and ever and ever so when I got till here I was just like yes you're out of my life I'm not even gonna repurpose this jar or anything I just want it out of my life ow 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 do you want this? I can give it to you a lotus sunscreen safe sun this is the SPF 20 it's the gel sunscreen it's one of the best sunscreens out there clear shampoo for men my brother and my husband they're the same okay they just don't use things up and i feel so wasteful and i have to use their stuff and it sucks this is my brother's shampoo so i have nothing much to talk about it soap and glory make yourself youthful rejuvenating face serum this is another thing that i really did not enjoy just because it was so heavily fragranced i don't feel good about putting fragrance on my face every day i made my husband use a lot of it Simple eye cream, the age resisting eye cream, but I didn't feel any benefits or anything. It was just really simple. No allergies, no pore clogging, no, none of that mess happened. It was just moisturizing. And I can't obviously tell you about the age resisting. I wouldn't know, you know. You can just hope for the best. These are another thing that are not really empty, you can't finish them. They're just these plasticky gloves that you use to scrub your body. These guys really do a good job at scrubbing your body. Day Cream by Sebamed. It's for dry and sensitive skin. This was really nice. No nonsense face moisturizer. No fragrance, no extra oiliness or anything. It was a nice face moisturizer. I have a moisturizing hand lotion from Bath & Body Works for like kitchen counter you know okay whatever everyday shampoo also by Sebamed this is also a really good shampoo like I said Sebamed has I think it's a German brand and they have really good stuff get off your mouth remove ah 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 if a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works you know generic things these are things just that like everybody buys I think YouTube hyped up Bath & Body Works they're just so heavily scented man why do you need that in your life <laughs> Last but not the least, I have a sample sized eye cream from La Prairie Cellular Eye Contour Cream. I told you in my last video, I've been on the hunt for a good eye cream for like the longest time. So I stopped by La Prairie because I wanted to invest in a good eye cream because you know this part of your face, 